Hello YouTube, welcome to a fresh but sunny Castle Combe. Today is uh, being run by H Sport. We've got a couple of cars here, so you know the boys from H Sport. You mentioned them before, so I'm here at the moment now. My car, obviously, David. Few other fiestas coming, so should be a good day. I've gone and pack the car, do the wheels, do the usual things, and then get ready to get out and have some fun. All right, starting to get busier now. My backup car over there, just in case mine breaks. Obviously David's, Andy B in his Fiesta, Richard is already saw, setting up his, Radical, C1R with the uh, support man, M4 tyres down there Andy, and in the garage, oh there's Connor, and in the garage is the H-Book car, say hello Connor. Hello, you alright? <laughs> yeah, looking forward to a good day. Should be a good day. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Big shout out to h -Book performance, nice starting their own track days. Should be a good laugh. Yeah, be good. So 3H bought library cars. Don't think it showed Mary's. Really like the colour scheme on that. Very smart white. That library looks really nice. Arison sorting out his McGann. Nice bit of kit that, I think he's 460 horsepower, last in 1 minute 13, a beast. Right, so this is my rear tyre. There's nothing alarming there. I just don't know why it feels so loose, but I can't complain when it's faster than it's ever been. Yesterday, just before we were built, well, when he was setting up, we found a problem. The fuel tank, sorry, the exhaust had melted into the fuel tank. It, it had been fitted bad, and it had pushed against each shield and embedded it into the tank, and the tank started leaking. So I'll put pictures in of that now, and it was a little cut in the heat shield and it sort of sliced like a knife slot into it, well it done more than that really so I had a plastic well in there, it took a few attempts but we managed to sort it so I'll be overlaying the pictures now, you can see it but we managed to get it running and it's running perfect but um, yeah David's going well, he's done a 120 dead um, and I think what my plan is now, I'll try and kill these tyres off this morning and then I'm going to switch over to my MRFs this afternoon I think, I think that'll be the plan How's it going Rich? Yeah, good mate. You're back oh, on tyre pressure. Are you yeah, looking at data, are you? Yeah, I'm just looking at my oil pressure data. I'm going to show the people on camera what you're looking at. Uh, good luck. He's getting really, uh, really technical. So it's just the pressure report, just so I get the minimum oil pressure, maximum oil pressure, average oil pressure, and also check so this the fuel pressure. All coming from your aim? Yeah. Actually, I'll go and show people your car now, show you what you've got in there, and how you're getting our data back. Right, so what Richard's got is this AIM dash, which he's really smartly had made up there. Raj from Motorflock Motorsport made the bracket for it. I mean, what a mint car, inside and out. And he's also got a, a Delta EC here, which's not running on the standard EC, which is uh, quite interesting. Uh, he's got that, I, I assume that's his blue stuff for his logger. I'm not sure, but 
he has built himself one smart car. Fiberglass boot, carbon fibre roof, um, I think it's fiberglass doors, just weighing over a ton years now. Nice car. Richard just got pushed back into the pits. What happened, Rich? Do you want to tell us and the people? Uh, she's running fine. I saw you got pushed in. Oil pressure dropped a bit low. Oh. Um, and then we shut her off, and now she don't want to start again. Oh. It's probably just a bit warm. Yeah. I overheated. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. I thought it's running nice. Have we got your data to look at? I will have. Yeah. Um, I mean, the oil pressure is okay when it's got a little bit of revs. Yeah. Um, but just on idle, it was dropping quite low. But we had an oil temperature warning because I've got it set quite low. Yeah. 
She, she'll come in better to be safe and sorry, like. Yeah. Right, so corner. The main man at H Fort has got a problem, people. Drive shaft. Yeah, that's the part. Of the, now the inner tripod. See in a tripod there, and I think. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got um? Another drive shaft coming now. You go and come in. Yeah. Oh, good man. You back in business then? Hopefully, back in business. Is this going on YouTube? Going on YouTube, George. Yeah. They're keeping it working hard, mate. Uh, see, you're still good. <laughs> Uh, it happened twice now. How's Mary's going? She's quick and she's pepper. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Right, so that's what I done last lap. 115.62. That was a, that was a ridiculous session. Hold on, let me get the smudges off his camera. Yeah, that was a ridiculous session. The car's amazing, it's lethal to drive, but it's fast. Right, let's go and see what's up with Richard's car. Any news, Rich? I don't know, about to see if it'll fire now. Change the plugs. Yeah. Plugs come out, look fine. Um, Hopefully, nothing to worry about now. It was still running, it was running fine. Yeah. I just think if I hadn't have knocked it off, it wouldn't have known. Yeah. I don't know whether the ECU has got a setting in it that says if it's got low oil pressure it won't fire it. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Hopefully nothing major. Hello. Running, Rich? Yeah, yeah, she's running. Got oil pressure. Yeah? Yeah, I think. So it just wouldn't go I think it's hot start in Richmond. Is it? Yeah, because they need more fuel when they're hot. Yeah. And obviously we've shut it down when it's red hot. Need to, uh, and it's just not enough fuel to get it started. I yeah. need to ring Gary. Yeah. Oh, well, at least it's running. It Good is, man. It is running. Right, so I've come around this side because the van's so loud. Brandy, my M4 tyres, it's going to rotate my tyres for me on the rims because what I've been doing is running some of them backwards against the rotation just to get around the car and to get the maximum weight out of them. So Andy's going to sort them out for me now and flip them around. Alright so I just had Andy check out my tyres now and as you can see I've got some peeling so I think what I'm going to do we're going to consider these almost dead and then uh, I'll just switch to my MRFs in a bit so but Andy is the man for tyres around Castlecombe he's usually out on most track days
Right, so check the lap time and it was uh, 1 minute 17.7 so it's 2 seconds down so what I've done is now readjust the tyre pressures, change the shock settings and I'm just going to top up my ad blow and Richard's coming out for a run yeah. because Richard's got bad news Richard's broken his gearbox yeah. yeah so Richard's day is over so he's now my passenger so I just fill this up and we'll be going back out Steve's going to scare me So I didn't last long, me and Rich had to come off with a huge vibration on the front. Rich thought it was delaminated tyre and I was hoping it was, but no, but I've got a big bulge in the earth, so we're gonna get them off, I'm gonna show you. But I'll be honest, I wouldn't recommend these tires. I don't like I don't like <laughs> I don't it's just my driving. I don't like the grip of these tires, and now they've done that, I like them even less. Right, so AMRF is off. You can see that bowel truck starts from there all the way around. See him? Really disappointed in them because I mean, look how much tread they got. They're all really good. But 
I wouldn't recommend MRF. Didn't like the grip. I definitely don't like that. All right, so after that with a tire now, I've swapped over just to get home, but that's the end of my day. I'm not gonna go back out. So the car's all filled up. Everybody's packing up pretty much. Um, there's still a bit of time left, but that's enough for us today. Enough for me, and I'm not gonna go back out on these tires. But yeah, it's a cracking day to be honest. I really enjoyed that. Uh, H-Board run a perfect day. It's been brilliant. Well, has been brilliant. Can't fault it. I'm really happy with the car, except for them MRF tires. I would put them in the region of an 808R, something like that. What are you going to sell me this for? I'll take them home. I am. Well, oh, go on and chuck them in there. I'll have them. Got to keep my belly up. I'm like. Right, so yes, anyway, the Rezas are just in another league to MRF in my opinion and I would say MRF are like a AD08R, something like that, that's what I would rate them like, I don't think they're much better than that, uh, real disappointment, but there we are, uh, we should work it out and I'll get some new tyres and sort something out, but that's the end of today, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you on the next one, bye.